Welcome to another video. AI has been pretty good at coding. That's why I cover a lot of applications like Maestro, Aider, Plandex, Copilot, and other stuff that can generate applications for you just from text prompts. Whether it be a desktop app, web app, mobile app, or anything you can imagine. I especially love these applications because they use agents. Agents are basically like multiple instances of LLMs working on one task, which enhances the output even more because with this method, an LLM can follow structured steps created by itself to do tasks much better and with high quality and high turnaround time. Maestro is one of the tools that did it quite nicely. Ader and Plandex also do this, but in a more subtle way. But today, I have something that's quite cool and similar to Maestro, and that's Devian. Devian is an AI-powered software development assistant that orchestrates a team of agents to solve programming tasks. It uses OpenAI's GPT-based agents to perform various roles such as architecture design, implementation, testing, and reviewing. Basically, you can ask it to create any kind of application and it can generate that application for you with agents. It's built using Crew AI, which is why it only has three files, and it can do everything you want. It uses four types of agents. When you give it any task, it first goes to an architect agent, which designs the architecture of the solution based on your input. Then, it uses a programmer agent that implements the solution and writes a working program for the task as per the architecture design. Then, a test agent tests the implemented solution to ensure it meets the requirements and is free of bugs. And then, a reviewer agent reviews the architecture, implementation, and test results to provide a comprehensive analysis. So, it also runs tests to check if the created works, which is actually quite cool. Maestro, Ader, or Plandex don't do this, which is what makes it different, which is also quite cool. According to their README, it only works with OpenAI, but I'll also be telling you how you can use it with Olima for local usage by changing a little bit of code. The code is also quite easy to navigate, so it shouldn't be a hassle. It also uses Serper for making searches about anything new or not in its knowledge base. So. If there's something new that you want it to use or know about, then it can do that as well. Serper has a free tier, which allows you to make 2,500 queries for free, which is also quite cool. It's almost like Maestro. Maestro also uses multiple agents to do the tasks you provide it, and this also uses the same methods to achieve it, which is also quite cool. So. Let's get started and check it out. But before we do that, I'd like to tell you about today's sponsor, Ninja Chat. Ninja Chat is an all-in-one AI chat platform that allows you to use multiple AI models like GPT-4, Claude 3.5 Sonnet, Gemini 1.5 Pro, Mixtral, Stable Diffusion 3, and Music Generator for less than one chat GPT membership cost. The membership starts from $9 and goes up to $25. But if you want an even bigger discount, you can use my coupon code CODEKING to get a 25% discount on all kinds of memberships. You can check them out through the link in the description. Now, let's get back to the video and get it installed. To use it, first get it cloned on your computer. Once cloned, navigate to the clone directory. Next, you'll have to set up a virtual environment with these commands, but I won't be creating the virtual environment because you only live once. I'll directly run this pip install command. This will get all the requirements for it installed. Once that's done, create a new env file. Now, put these variables in the file and enter your API key for OpenAI and Serper key in the respective variables. Once done, save it. Now, we can start using it. 
To use it, just run the main Python file, and you'll be asked about what you want to do. Let's ask it to generate a Python program that adds two numbers. OK, as you can see, it's generating the code via all their agents and stuff. We'll need to wait a bit for it to finish. So let's wait. OK, so it's now done. Let's look at the code files. As you can see, here's the code. It has also created tests for the code, which is also really cool. But now let's run the program and see if it works. OK, it works fine. It can do what was asked to do. So, it's pretty amazing as well. Now, let me also tell you how you can use it with Olama. To use it with Olama, first go to Olama's site, click on the download button, choose your operating system, and get it installed. Once installed, go to the models page and choose your model. I'll be using the DeepSeq Coder V2 model because it's best at coding. So, just click on it and copy the installation command. Paste it in your terminal and it will get installed. Once it has been installed, you'll see this chat interface in your terminal. Send a message and check if it works. Once everything's done, go to the agent's Python file and over here add the base URL parameter and change it to Alama's OpenAI endpoint like this. Also, change the model name to what you want to use. In my case, it's DeepSeq Coder V2. Once done, save it. Now, we can use it with local models. Let's ask it to generate a Python program to multiply two numbers. Let's send it. As you can see, it's getting generated. Let's wait for a bit. OK, it's done now. You can have a look at the code over here. It looks pretty good. Let's run it and check. OK, this works fine. So, that's how you can use it with Olama for local usage. Overall, this is a quite cool project. You can generate anything with it, just like Maestro. Also, it's built on Crew AI, so you can easily customize it for your needs, which is also good. It also works pretty fast, puts everything in a directory, and generates tests and everything, which is also good. It also recursively checks and refines it, which is also really great. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you liked this video, consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Also, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye.